Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking neon glow effect using Adobe Photoshop. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to download our graphic. Now I'm just using Unsplash for this. So I've just searched up for a dark smoky man and this is one of the graphics that popped up. Now this is pretty cool to do this glow effect on because it is quite dark but you're free to use any image that you want. Once you're happy with your image, the next thing that we need to do is we need to draw out our shape. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to go to the triangle tool and then I'm going to change a few settings. The first setting is I'm just going to change the fill to none. The next thing is I'm just going to change the stroke settings and make sure that the color is white. And then I'm just going to bump up the stroke to somewhere like 25 pixels. Once you're happy with that, then what you need to do is you need to draw your triangle. So once you're happy with your triangle, you can always rotate it around if you like and put it wherever you want. So to move the triangle, you can come over here and press the move tool and then you can position it to where you like. Now, if you want to change the triangle, you can always press command T or control T to bring up free transform and this will enable you to free transform to whatever you like. So once you're happy with your triangle position, then what we need to do is we need to apply the glow effect. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to double click on that triangle one layer and we need to come down here to our glow settings. Now my glow settings are already up. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that the technique is set to softer. The the size is set to let's say 250 the spread is set to around 17 or 18 percent or even 16 and you can change the color to whichever color you like so this works really good with bright colors so you know like bright oranges bright yellows etc but i'm gonna keep it as a bluish kind of color so i'll keep it something like that. So once you're happy with your glow settings, then you can just press OK. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to convert this to a smart object. So I'm just going to right click and then I'm going to look for convert to smart object. And once you've done this, then what we need to do is we need to create a layer mask. And so with the layer mask selected, we need to come over here to our brush settings. And I'm just going to increase the brush size by pressing on my keyboard and I can press the brackets keys. And so this will make the brush bigger and smaller. You need to make sure that the foreground color is set to black. Otherwise, this won't work. And I'm just going to zoom in just so I can see what I'm doing here. So all I have to do is just click on the brush settings and I can brush away the behind of that triangle. Now, obviously, when I get to the edge of his face, then I don't want to go too hard because otherwise you won't the effect won't look as good as it could so all you have to do is just make sure that inside of your brush settings all right you're setting a brush where it doesn't completely just cut off there's a bit of a fade in there and so if you've done that correctly now you've got the triangle that passes through the guy's face like that and now you can do the same for the smoke as well. So, but I'm not going to go too much here. So I'm just going to just put a few points just so the triangle comes out of the smoke. And I'm also going to do it on this side, just like that. And once you're happy with what it looks like, then you can move on to the final step. So now I've got my glow and my glow is looking really nice. The final step that we can do is we can just come back down here and we can add a color lookup. Now this is pretty cool because it applies a, a kind of LUT to your entire document. And the, by default, Photoshop already comes with a whole range of these LUTs. So you can go and explore some of these and find the ones that you like. So I really like this foggy night and you know what? You can do the same thing again. If you find that it's too dark, you can change the opacity of that and bring it down to maybe, I don't know, like 60-ish percent. Or you can do the same thing with the brush tool. So you can brush out whatever you want to come back. So now I've got the face there and you can see that the face is much 
brighter than the rest of the document and i'm also going to do the same with the smoke so it will brighten up the smoke and i can put that in like that and there we have it so just make sure that you apply the brush settings on the layer mask and that's about it so anyways thanks for watching this quick and short tutorial on how to create a neon glow effect using photoshop Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.